G'day and welcome to Aussie Vision and we are ahead of the big week of Eurovision. We are live broadcasting from Brisbane, not Rotterdam, right here. <laughs> and so we want to go through the contenders ahead of the week now that we've seen the rehearsals. So we're going to start off with the new favourite, Michael, which is Italy after the last couple of nights. Yeah, one of the rehearsals that have really caught the imagination. It, Italy were always bringing a strong package. It was about the presentation and it looks like as it's progressed throughout the rehearsals, it's really found its niche. And it's spot. I'm really pleased about this. This is my favorite song. Um, the last run through of the rehearsal last night was phenomenal. Uh, they've got fire, they've got pyros, it's a rock concert via a Eurovision concert. They've got all the ingredients to potentially take a huge win and, and a surprising win for Italy here. Yeah, look, we always say rock doesn't do well at Eurovision. I think this one could be the exception on that. It's a compelling package. So it is, the, it is a favorite just ahead, like mm -hmm. of, they're almost the same of France. France is a very different song. It's very intimate. It's Barbara Pravi doing voila, doing something very French and Edith Piaf in a modern way and co connecting down that camera. Very different style, Michael, isn't it? Very different style. It's going to appeal to a different audience, perhaps more the older market on this one, as well as some of the younger people. Does it come across as a little old fashioned compared to Italy? Maybe. But then again, we've seen these can be very, very popular. Could capture the mood, couldn't it? It certainly does uh, appeal to a different type of audience here. And I think it could work really well and they've got every chance of winning just as much as Italy do. All right well let's move down to our third favorite who was going in as the bookies favorite before the rehearsals which is Malta. Uh, Destiny would be Malta's, um, it's going with Gemma Cass, it would be Malta's first win for the competition. Um, why do you think it's dropped down and do you think she's still a contender? Oh, very much still a contender. These things always do fluctuate a little bit with rehearsals. Look, it's still a compelling package and Destiny brings it and that vocal is going to command jury and televote. This is still very much in it. It's, mm. again, a different ilk than the other two. Yep. Now we've got fun, young pop. So definitely a market for that. It's definitely the most commercial and radio-friendly of the lot and we know juries like that. And if it connect with televoters as well, then they're in with the shot this could be how toy and arcade both fell away a little bit exactly. in the bookies during the week and then came home strong and won the title could it be the same for malta one to watch there the other kind of one who has dropped a little bit too is switzerland um they were i was really impressed with their rehearsal but they went tumbling down the odds it's a very different take isn't it michael but maybe um some competition with barbara from france another french language song yeah possibly i um, mean we know with the flood the odds do fluctuate quite a bit at this time who's putting money on who i still wouldn't discount this this has got a massive jury score coming it's such a great composition and i really do enjoy the staging i think it's modern it's something different than we're seeing from the others and this is still very very much in the running i would say indeed dark horse coming up here is iceland now people wrote um Duthie frere mm. off a little bit because his song let's be honest was isn't not as good as last year yeah. but the staging is really good there's going to be a lot of goodwill for him it's got jury and tally vote appeal could this be the surprise to take out uh, a win that no one saw kind of coming before the contest yeah look he's just delivered a package and it's charming and it's authentic and it's everything that people like about Duthie mm. and so it's compelling and people will remember oh this is the guy from last year that was probably going to win so I wouldn't discount a lot of goodwill votes coming up for this one either um, yeah look it, is it the sort of thing that can come third and third in the jury and tally vote and take it out possibly indeed and the last one we want to talk about is Bulgaria now this to me is a big jury friendly uh, song it's very commercial it's very radio you hear it around a lot at the moment we were worried about televote but we i think the staging is really good and it stands out and it grabs your attention and could certainly get people picking up their phones i think it's the toughest path of the ones we're talking about mm. for victory uh but it's definitely there you're right i think jury is probably massive on this one as yep. well and the presentation is compelling and now it gives it a televote route to possibly getting a lot of votes yeah it needs a path of the jury if it's doing a really big jury score that could be the way it wins but i think it's the only way if it kind of smashes it dami style uh it could be its way to win all right well those are our five major contenders but we'll be doing so much more conversations during the week if you want to know our predictions about what's happening with the semis make sure you subscribe listen to our podcast all the links are in below and uh looking forward to a big week on the ground here in brisbane for rotterdam <laughs> massive week coming up thanks for joining us guys. see you later